Let's see how to install Python on your machine. If you are using Windows, to install Python, visit the website python.org, click the download button to get the installer. Then simply open it and follow the instruction. So you click the download button, you, you download the installer, and then you can open it. In my case, I already have it. So I see this modify setup screen. But in your case, if Python is not installed on your system, you will see a screen like this that starts the process of installing the program on your computer. Make sure when you are on this page to check this box and add Python to your path. Otherwise, it won't work. Once Python is installed, you can click on the search box and type PowerShell and open the Windows PowerShell to verify that installation is complete and Python is present in your system. You type Python minus capital V and you will see the Python version installed on your system. That's pretty much it. Um, so let's see how to do the same thing on uh, Linux and Mac OS, which is pretty much the same process, uh, to verify that Python is installed on your system because Python comes pre-installed on most Linux distribution, you can do the same thing. Open the terminal. In my case, I will be using um, this terminal inside the ID Win uh, Visual Studio Code. So in here, let me open the terminal. Okay, in here, you can type Python minus V, and you will see that the default version uh, of Python installed on your system is Python 2, which is not. Um, maintained anymore uh, but most distribution already comes with uh, python uh, 3 installed the only thing that you have to do is type python 3 minus v and you will see uh, in this case python yeah i, I did start the, the interpreter uh, i will show you what it is in a minute but if you type python minus v uh, you will see that um, in the terminal you will get the version of python in your system which is in this case the 3.6.9 but if i do python dot python 3.8 i should see the python no python 7 yes if I do Python 3.7, I see that I, really, I also have the version Python 3.7.5 installed on my system. In case you have not uh, the latest version of Python, you can uh, use the uh, Linux package management system and uh, install Python on your uh, computer, like sudo apt get apt install python 3 and this will start the load uh, and in my case python is already installed so it's the same thing on mac os uh, so um, let's move uh, to see how to open uh, the um, python interpreter because we will be using it to write, to write some of our scripts. In my case, I'm using uh, Bash, which is, uh, I'm using Linux, uh, and in in this case, the only thing that I have to do is type Python 3, and this um, interpreter will start, where I can type Python commands and then I can quit using this command. The same thing works on uh, 
Windows PowerShell. So you open PowerShell and in here you type Python and the interpreter will start. Next, um, I want to make sure we all have the same setup. So the next thing I suggest you to do, if you are not already using a text editor or an IDE, um, a text editor like Sublime Text or Atom, or an NLE in this case, the one that I'm using is Visual Studio Code, I recommend that you install it and because this is what I will be using during the entire course. You can download the Visual, Code, Visual, Visual Studio Code IDE, which is free, uh, at the following link, code.visualstudio.com and simply follow the instructions. Once you got it and it's installed on your system, the only thing that I want you to do is install Code Runner, which is an extension. You can click on this extension icon and search for Code Runner. In my case, I already have it, but you can uh, see like for example uh, for these other extensions there is a green button and you can click here to install the extension as soon as you got it you will see this icon appear at the top of your screen and we will press this icon to execute code inside the file so python code inside the python file and i will show you how to do that now uh, so, in Visual Studio Code, um, open a folder, um, any folder uh, in your system, um, an empty folder, and then create a file. Uh, you can call this file anything you like. I will call it app.pi. And this is, uh, pi is uh, the file extension for Python files. And in here, we will be writing all our Python code. Um, so now that your environment is ready, let's get started with Python programming 